Hi, and welcome to the VR Shops review of the VR Sky CXV3. It's an all in one headset for a change. Its current price is around 103 quid, which works out to about $133, give or take a few cents and pence. And we're going to take a look and find out if it's worth buying. As always, this is just a quick overlook review. For more detailed information like weight, power, processor, things like that, please do visit the website link in the description below. And by doing that, you're also going to help to keep these videos ads free. Okay, let's get on with it. We're going to have to do uh, this in two parts, obviously, because it's such a complex uh, headset, quite frankly. So we're going to get into it. The box is all right, uh, weighs quite a lot, uh, says about the power, I don't know if you want to read that, you can never read on that if you want, or the, the information will be on the website obviously. So let's get into it. We've got a, oh dear, I'm trashing the place, I'm trashing the place. So we have a, I can get into it, there we go. We've got uh, the headset there. Uh, uh, this is my dead out. We have a uh, user manual, which we'll put there. We've got pressure. oh, head strap, head strap there, which is oh, sorry, quite nice. Uh, what's this? What's this? What is this? Uh, Micro USB cable. Nice. Uh, we'll leave that in there. What's this? What's this? What is this? What's this? Uh, <laughs> it's a two point plug. Not much good here in the UK. Oh, but still can uh, use that as a power uh, charger. And. Oh, of course, I put it back in there. Oh, sorry. Right. Uh, what's this? What's this? Uh, a nice set of earphones, which is quite nice. Well, whatever. Okay. I don't think we want that. Actually, let's take everything out. In there. there, that's a bit better. We're definitely going to need uh, the instructions. We don't need the beads, I don't think. We will take that. There we go. Okay. So, this is the actual headset. Uh, there's a couple of buttons on there. You've got a uh, touchpad controller on the side. Um, buttons. I'm going to guess that that's volume buttons. Uh, back button. On the front. Uh, turning over. You've got a an N button and a power button which obviously will uh, have to charge anything on top no nothing on underneath uh, we have a restart uh, port always handy when things go horribly wrong uh, micro USB uh, charge port um, a main USB port I'll have to have a look at that uh, 3.5 um, earphone jack, sorry, just couldn't get with it, and the SD card reader, and another restart slot, which is weird, I have two of them, that is odd, okay, um, we're going to have to take this away, obviously it's, uh, it's going to probably need a charge, and to find out what it can do and uh, I've got to admit I'm pretty excited to uh, to see what these sort of headsets can do and uh, and I hope you'll join me for um, the second part of this. Okay hi and welcome to the VR shops uh, setup and look I suppose inside the VR Sky CXV3, sorry. Okay, uh, this is literally, uh, we're just 
filming onto the screen, so sorry for the poor quality, but it was the only way we could get it to do it. Okay. So this is literally you're joining us set up uh from a clean uh headset basically. So you can see uh what that you've got. Uh you arrive in some sort of uh hub, not too bad, not too bad actually, doesn't look too bad. Uh and your first options are language, uh English is highlighted, but it's also Chinese, so obviously we want English and then you Use the uh, side button. You have to tap in the middle to confirm, which is uh, a bit of a pain. Uh, and then you can set up your wireless local area, area network or Wi-Fi. And you can click on to that. And then I'll click on to that. And then I'll set this up and uh, quickly join you back once the, the password's done. So if we connected to that, let's go to next. And some health warnings, adjust helmet before use. Helmet, nice. Uh, children under 13 are forbidden to use. Uh, if physical discomfort, please stop. So I've now tapped on finish. And this is the main, uh, the main hub, the main menu. And we'll go for each one and take a look at what it is. So into apps first, tap in the side. Got media player, uh, media OL, 360 online, um, settings, app store, file, mania, browser, YouTube, and uh, scrolling along, Google Play services, uh, and Play Store and people. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any uh, anything to load up on the Play Store, so it's a bit of a bit of a waste of time. But you know, it's there. It's an option. Uh, we're going to theatre. If I can click on that side. And this is the theatre. It's uh, basically a very much like like the Fibra map or Seymour Cinema app. It's a virtual reality cinema that you can watch uh, all your videos on. Uh, pretty simple to add videos. You just stick them into the... Uh, downloads folder of um of the system or you can load them up via uh micro usb and we press play and that's hang on where's it play it's playing there we go so you know you can watch your um films anything you can download really in the uh the virtual cinema, which I quite like. I thought that was a pretty cool app, and uh, given the slightly limited functionality uh, of this headset, it's probably what you're going to do most. And I know a lot of people uh, do spend a lot of time just watching movies on their VR headsets and things that are in virtual cinemas and things like that. So, you know, for doing that. This headset's pretty perfect, and it does have, you know, a pretty good field of view. And to be honest, it's pretty comfortable and immersive. It's uh, pretty dark in here. It feels comfortable to wear, and I'm, you know, quite happy navigating the uh, the menu using the side button and swipe and things like that. It's pretty easy. Just look and click onto our next app, which is Pano. Which I'm gonna guess is <laughs> like Japanese uh, videos and things that are, and there's gonna be um, a few things that people are gonna <laughs> wanna watch here, and I'll just click on hot for now. Uh, you can click them, you can download them, but they are from Japanese servers, so it does take a little bit of time to come in, and. There are others. I know that you're going to want to see that. But again, it just takes time for the information to come in. But they do come in in the end, you know. As long as you're a bit patient, uh, you can have that. So you can watch your own uh, photos. Watch your own photos. Look at your own photos. Or you can click on uh, the ones that are there, which are pretty nice. You can down obviously download... Uh, 
any 360 uh, photos you want which is pretty cool I, I quite like them nice nice not too bad you will notice that um, despite the slightly low uh, processing power and things like that it's it's actually all right you know at the end of the day this uh, headset isn't supposed to be used for like high-end VR games and things like that but what it can do is play your films and things like that and if you're into that sort of thing and I know a lot of people are it's perfect it really is I will just show you tools uh, click on that and I'll show you what's in all here so we got settings always handy uh, definitely some of them so Bluetooth uh, theme if you click on there you can select your language so in theme is where your language is if you um, should get one of these headsets second hand and it's in Chinese you know where to go now into themes and it's the one two three four third down so you can click on that and select English uh, there's two themes on this one for your hub. You can have theme one, which we're on now, or theme two, which I like. I, I prefer theme two, but I'm sure that'll be a matter of taste. Uh, your light, your darkness, and all that, and change your time zones, Wi Fi settings, obviously, and go into systems, uh, the system update, and um, system restart, things like that. And if I show you a uh, about device, you can uh, have a quick read on uh, all all of that. I don't know if you do, but that's there. But there you go. That is pretty much what this headset uh, has to offer. Like I say, you can um, uh, add videos and things like that, and you can. I mean, if as you can see if I go into it there we go uh, and I've gone into the app thing and there's just nothing there but you can um, install APKs but quite frankly it's just ridiculously um, hit and miss and that wasn't uh, something that I was willing to uh, knuckle down and get into depths with. I tried um, a couple of roller coaster apps and things like that. Yeah, they installed, but they just didn't look right because it's not optimized for this headset. And I'm sure that later on, a lot more apps will be optimized and available on their own Play Store. But for now, there's just not. The bottom line is that this. If you're going to use this headset for watching films that you've downloaded and things like that in a virtual uh, cinema, and um, to tell you now, Showbox does work on this. If you download the APK, it works fine. Um, for that sort of thing, this is pretty awesome. It's a nice field of view. It's very comfortable. The charge doesn't last terribly long, but it will last, you know, full charge. It'll last enough for a film easily. And that's, you know, where its worth is. Its worth is as um, for quick VR films and things like that. Or just show someone like a VR a 360 photo. Or if you've made your own 360 uh, videos, down, you know, you can download it. Or go onto YouTube and see some. It's not a games machine at all, and it was never going to be for the money. It really wasn't. I don't know, you know, I'm sure there's some people out there that thought that that might have been the case, but that's not what's happening. I don't know. Who would buy this? If you're going to just play your films and that on your phone, believe me, this has got to be cheaper than your average smartphone price and a headset normally you know if you haven't got um, a smartphone and you've been thinking about getting into VR download you know give one of these a go just for your, your little starter if you're into making your own 360 photos or videos this is definitely worth a go for that sort of thing definitely but for gamers and things like that it's uh, 
I'd, I'd give it a miss. But there you go. That was our review of the VR Sky CXV1. You know the drill by now. If you've got any questions at all, you know, just let us know in the comments below. We're happy to test out whatever we, you will need to know and whatever questions you might have. Thanks for watching. Please do remember to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe box in the corner. Because, yeah, we're going to be giving away this headset. I'm not sure uh, if it's going to be quite up to everyone's needs. But someone will be pretty chuffed to bits with this. So please do sign up to our weekly newsletter. And the link to do that will also be in the description box below. A big thanks goes to our star of the show, which is a VR Sky CX V3. Which is a... Well, it's not bad actually. Not bad at all. And for the price, it's pretty crazy what it can do. But there you go.